morning for our Sunday school lesson taught by Sister Morgan. Beautiful things that she said and brought out to us. And to everyone that elaborated on the lesson this morning, God coming plan. You know, uh, the key to this that we don't want to lose focus on the plan of what? Salvation. Plan of salvation. Amen. And as the Lord through Paul talks about this plan of salvation to the Thessalonians, he's explained to them even as we explain to you now that whether you're black or white, whether you're Gentile or Jew, whether you're Roman, Catholic, whether you are male or female, whether you are any denomination whatsoever, the same plan of salvation for me and you is for everybody. Amen. Amen. Right. There's not a plan of salvation for one different race than another one or one different group of people than another one. The same plan of salvation is for everyone. And that plan of salvation is that we must acknowledge that we're sinners and repent. Amen. And receive the Lord Jesus in our life for the forgiveness and the pardon of our sin. Amen. Amen. And then it leads to here where Paul was encouraging the Thessalonians. Now, in studying this lesson with Sister Morgan that brought out and everyone have said, my encouragement to you as we close out that we don't lose sight of what was going on here. There's two things that we need to take notice that's going on. There's a new group of young saints mm -hmm. that had gotten saved in this particular message that Paul is writing to. Amen. And they did not understand what the older one was talking about, mentioning them about the coming of the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they misunderstood that because they felt that as the coming of the Lord, his return is fixing to come now, then we might well just sell everything we got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We might well just get rid of everything. Mm -hmm. We might well sell our homes, our cars, our, yeah. our cows, everything, because there won't be no need for that. But they misunderstood, just as young believers do misunderstand. Amen. 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 But what is happening here, and Paul said to the older one, now, you, there shouldn't be no misunderstanding between you and salvation because you perfectly know. Amen. Now, there's some things we're dealing with in the body of Christ or be it sins and weakness that we're talking about, but it shouldn't be to those that perfectly know. That's right. Amen. 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 There's some saints among us, older saints, that's been in holiness long enough with a call according to this plan of salvation that some things we're dealing with, whether it comes to staying in the service, mm. whether it uh, replying to obedience, whether it replying to loving one another, we perfectly know. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's true. We shouldn't be dealing with that with with this older saint, but because we have fallen asleep. Yeah. Amen. If we having trouble trying to wake you up. Mm -hmm. Now when you really are sleeping and you into a good sleep in your bed with your uh, uh satin sheets and all of that, and, I mean you really sleeping. Everybody just really been sleeping and feel good. Mm -hmm. And when somebody trying to wake you up, you fall count. You don't want to, oh, yeah. to get up. Say amen. And this is where this is where I think we are at in this part of the Thessalonian message is where we are trying to wake up some of the saints of old that perfectly know that they fell asleep. Amen. Say it, Bishop. Yeah, Lord. We we reach over hit the we reach over and hit the snooze button. <laughs> Amen. We done got comfortable. Yeah. I mean, we really, really, yeah. we're trying to stir people up that perfectly know. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Amen. We shouldn't have to be dealing with saints that perfectly know to tell you by Sunday morning service where you ought to be. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. We sleep. My God. And, and I know we're having trouble with it just like Paul. And when you start teaching and preaching this kind of message, it stirs up stuff mm -hmm. in people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people got so stirred up because they didn't want to be bothered. Not these young saints. Mm -hmm. these, these, these older mm -hmm. saints that perfectly knew. Yeah. They got so stirred up that they got together with a group and ran Paul out there. Yeah. They escaped out of town mm -hmm. during the night right. just to flee for his life. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Sometimes we have to leave some of y'all alone. Just to flee for our life. That's true. Now that doesn't Good. mean natural death, because if we keep dealing with some people that perfectly know that sleep and don't want to get up, you cause us to lose our salvation. That's right. Yes, That's right. Amen. 
you're causing us to lose our anointing. We can lose our anointing by messing with people too long that don't want to be changed. Yes. 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 I'm saying, right. You start arguing with people and then you lose your own anointing. Yes. Because we want this anointing, but to get it, you got to be broken. That's yes. right. Broken from your way. Yes. Broken oh, from your thought. Yes. My God, we could yes. go on and on. But the heart of this lesson is dealing with salvation. Mm -hmm. How much do you want to hold on to your salvation? Is it worth it for you to stay wide awake mm. and know that the coming of the Lord is nigh? Mm -hmm. Now, we don't have to, the older saints don't have to be disturbed too much because we are not looking for signs. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they are upon us. Yeah. But we are sleeping. My I God. mean, we're talking about signs from the Bible of His coming where people are married and giving in marriage. Mm -hmm. yes, Billing and I mean so much, even in a, a bad economy time, yeah. there's still billing and, and all of this just construct stuff just going on. That's yeah. the truth. And we as saints of old that perfectly know we are not careful. We get caught up in that flow. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we got to make a stand. Yeah. We got to make a stand where we stand for holiness and do it to the glory of God. I personally think within the first 72 hours, this is my thought, it is not scripture. Mm -hmm. But I believe within the first 72 hours, when a person gets saved, that's when you start teaching them. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if you don't teach young saints, amen, how to live holy, how to love God, how to serve God, if you mess around and let their shout go cold and the excitement flee, they ain't going to know nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. First 72 hours, I believe you got to put saint, young saint that gets saved into a teaching class. Yes. Teach amen. them the way of the Lord. Yes. Teach them about trials and tribulations. Yes. So amen. amen. And this is what the older saints have to do. Yes. Is teach them because young saint that ever got saved, no matter how long you've been saved now, but when you first got saved, you were ready to do whatever somebody over you told you. Amen. amen. In the Lord, say amen. If they told you to sit down, you sit down. Amen. Look, young saint that gets saved like we did when we was young, y'all remember that? Yeah. We don't argue. Mm -hmm. We don't talk back at the elder saint. Let long time I talk back at the leader. But when we start that kind of stuff and that stuff going on with people that perfectly know, they right. fell asleep. They didn't leave me alone. My God. Leave me alone. Amen. Glory be to God. It, 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 ought to be, it ought to be the Holy Ghost in you that make you want to be in service. Amen. As much Amen. as possible. Amen. Amen. We're just reminding that what's in you. Amen. Glory be to God. Fail not to uh, uh, assemble yourself with the same. You ought to want to be. And, and that's where your encouragement comes from. Amen. Amen. And we just love the Lord. And these was young saints that did not understand. If somebody told you today, if I told you today, that the Lord is coming back. You already know that. But with understanding, you're not going out and sell your home and everything. Uh -huh. We have understanding. <laughs> but young saints that may not know this, we tell them, the Lord is coming. He's now. He's coming back. My They'll God. be saying, I don't need nothing no more. You don't need I can throw away my soap and I can throw away my bath towel. But if he don't show up, you're going to need it. <laughs> but he is coming, right? He is coming. But we make ready not by watching for sign and closing. We don't make ready for watching for sign or trying to be important. We make ready for us coming by our sanctity life. Yeah. Amen. I mean, people are talking all kind of talk, but they ain't making no change in their life now. Amen. Of living to who we know Christ is coming back after. Yeah. He's coming back after a church yeah. with our spot and wrinkle. Now when we hear of his coming or see a sign, we need to check for spot. Amen. Yes. I mean, the saints don't check their life much anymore. I'm serious. And, 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 and one and sign would come and say, this is Mark saying, and I'm close out there with God. She was, she got off, got carried off into the pulpit ring. About how we ought to live holy and how we ought to have the anointing of the Lord. That's a sign. That's a warning. But if there one here or one go out over the airway, and here, preacher goes saying, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. But the, every time we hear a warning, we ought to at least think about what that warning means. Amen. Amen. Every first Wednesday of the month, the siren will go off in this city throughout the state. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's to the warn you of an alert. This is the way it sounds when a hurricane is coming Amen. or a tornado.